The Queen stepped in to help her son, Prince Andrew, settle the aftermath of the Virginia Roberts lawsuit, according to the Mirror. The monarch personally made a £2 million payment to Miss Euphrae's charity as part of the Duke of York's £12 million settlement. Under the terms of the £2 million deal arranged by the Queen's most senior advisers and the Duke's legal team, the Queen agreed to help Andrew as long as she was not connected to any personal payment to the accuser, Miss Euphrae. A palace source told the newspaper paper, she could not be seen to be making a payment to a victim of assault, who accused her son of being an abuser. But a deal was structured in such a way to arrange a sizeable financial contribution to the settlement by way of a charitable donation instead. Plus, despite growing pressure to strip Andrew of his titles, the Queen is also expected to allow him to remain as her state councillor and keep his dukedom and service rank of vice-admiral. According to reports, there are growing calls for clarity on exactly how Andrew will fund the £12 million payout, with demands that none of it be paid from public money. David McClure, author of The Queen's True Worth, told the Mirror, the sums involved in Prince Andrew's settlement are extraordinary, so the public do have a right to know if public money, or indeed the Queen's personal funds, were used. But I wouldn't hold your breath. The Queen and Prince Charles jointly weighed in on Andrew, putting him under intense pressure after he was last month ordered to face a civil trial by jury in the United States. But the Duke finally agreed to an out-of-court settlement with Miss Roberts, now 38, on Tuesday, weeks after he had vowed to contest her allegations against him at the public trial in the US. In the settlement, there was no admission of liability by Andrew, who has also denied the specific allegations. Details of the deal were not made public, but it is thought he has a agreed to pay up to £12 million, including a substantial donation to Miss Roberts' charity in support of victims' rights. The settlement decision comes after reports revealed that Prince Charles has been supported by the Queen in making it clear to Andrew that he has no choice but to settle with Ms Jouffray, with one source telling the Daily Mail that Charles had had enough of the situation and would have said to Andrew that he needed to get this sorted out as soon as possible. A senior royal household member told the Standard that Charles and the Queen could not countenance another disastrous appearance by the Duke of York, in light of his BBC interview, adding, decisive action was needed. There was little choice. He had to see sense. Meanwhile, despite the settlement, it is feared the scandal could still overshadow poignant Platinum Jubilee celebrations for the UK in the coming months. However, on Wednesday, the Metropolitan Police said they had no plans to reopen their own probe into Andrew despite calls from officers to re-examine evidence after the deal. Royal author Angela Levine told Sky News today, I think that the Queen would have given him a big telling off and said, I can't have this hanging over me for the rest of the year. I don't want you to spoil my platinum jubilee. I'm the only royal who's lasted 70 years on the throne and you've got to sort it out. She added, I admire the Queen hugely as everybody does and I don't want it to spoil anything for her, but I still think this is hanging over the country and the royal family and is going to go right through to the end of the year and maybe into next year and there's no real way of cutting it off. Obviously that, a ban on Miss Euphrae saying anything, was something that they could have put in the agreement and they haven't. And so it implies that there's a lot she, Miss Euphrae, wants to say that Andrew will not want to hear.